Thank you so much for joining me this Game Edge. We are back in subsistence. As you can see, we have a friendly bear. Not so friendly. Uh, that's actually coming at us right now. That's pretty uh, sad. And as you can see, we also have more power. Isn't that beautiful? Man, our room is looking smacking good. It'd be nice to get some walls up and stuff later on, but right now we're going to keep this open concept. Uh, that bear might be a issue. Uh, we'll have to maybe deal with him afterwards. Right now, he's not bothering anything. Um, yeah, so anyways, make a long story short, these animals are just fine. Uh, we had a recent update that uh, Cole Games had put out. Um, a little bit of, I mean, how do I go through this? I, I love the, I love this game. And it's, it's you know, it's it's a point where it's an addiction level to it. I, I still play it, uh, you know, daily, nonstop. And I love it every moment that I get to play with it. And again, it's the update that kind of scares me. So I did send out an email to Cole Games and, you know, explaining that I kind of, I'm kind of worried about him making it harder for us to break into the hunter's base. I want to see us being able to destroy the hunter's base. Uh, you know, you know, if we don't get resources or at least some resources back, uh, but right now it's not, there's no worth for me to break into that place. I just, just, unless I want to get revenge. Now he expressed many little things he's been working on. And let me just give you a little insight to how intelligent that he is doing this. He listens so well to all of you. Uh, he's quite aware of so many things you guys are writing. It's un freaking believable. And he's also taken, you know, what I've mentioned too. And that's really great because, I mean, um, these are kind of things I believe that are going to be a game breaker if it doesn't go to this direction. But again, this is a early access game. And by listening to gamers and understanding what people are looking for, like I mentioned to him, I think that it'd be great for us to be able to destroy the bases. And if you don't bring that to gamers, uh, there's no satisfaction if I don't get to take apart the entire base piece by piece. You know, if it's the entire day that I have to spend taking it apart, that is a choice I might take to wasting my day of not getting any loot grades. Uh, that is a possibility. That'd be something you might not want to do, but that is something I would like to see for sure. I think that we all want to kind of take apart somebody's base and remove it uh, and make us feel a whole lot better. Uh, yeah. Anyways, put it in common fields. Tell me how you guys feel about it. He did remove finally the exploit where well, currently you can't get mass and power to regenerate by itself in another base. So our base that's currently over here uh, is no longer able to reproduce power for itself unless you put a generator in on it. Now, the reason why they had to do this is because people were farming lockpicks. And I mentioned that to you before that that was an exploit that you guys might have to, you know, get ready for. That's an exploit that might be removed. And uh, I'm aware that, no, it's, it was part of the game. I get it. But it felt way too easy to play the game. And a lot of you were like, oh, I don't know what's wrong with you, Game Edge. This is one of the easiest games in a lot, but you're farming lockpicks. So that is a problem that needed to be rectified. And that's, you know, without us showing these kind of things or playing with it. Um, as you saw, I destroyed my lockpick when I arrived there. But yeah, we don't farm lockpicks. That just doesn't make sense. You're taking a game that you spent your hard-earned cash on, you're looking for something for a challenge, and then we just make it too easy for us to play uh i don't want that i don't want this game to go down that alley now there's always gonna be exploits people are always gonna find ways i mean <laughs> to make their their uh their lives a whole lot better so they make themselves look good and i understand it's fine i mean i see people sending inventories pictures of inventory that's just impossible to get within the hours i saw them play i don't care how good you are i know by heart after a year playing this game exactly what you need and how long it would take you to do that kind of thing and there's no hiding it there's exploits that occur with lock picks and there's nothing wrong if you guys just you know do it but don't bullshit uh, others by you know comment fields and steam uh, saying that you know you did this by yourself now it's gone i can't wait to see that i can't wait to see the amount of time and i tracked actually some of these guys times Playing. And it's not because I'm trying to be a hardest. I wanted just to see if they're able to redo this, reproduce this. And I've already put the challenge in some of the forums uh, saying, you know what, uh, now that, you know, once he gets the exploit fixed, you guys should start from that point forward. So as of right now, when they do download, of course, if they do download, because we can't really see a version on this, it would be nice if we can actually see a version somewhere on this game, uh, just like we do the other ones. So it kind of gives you a, a feel better that, you know, the other players are not showing you something that's just impossible to get. Anyways, that's my two cents. I think it's a really good update for now. I'm not very happy that it doesn't reproduce itself because it's very hard to get mass and all that. But again, if it holds itself, then why not it's just reproducing power? And the first one should be able to do it. And the other ones, you should be able to uh, have to do a generator and stuff. So 
our secondary base won't be able to reproduce power, but now it adds actually a new struggle, which I'm okay with. This patch is new, isn't it? No. Anyways, his other update resolved a whole bunch of other exploits, including the one that you, well, not exploit, but including the other one that where people are getting stuck inside the rocks or certain rock faces. Impossible to get out. They'd fall in between cracks and stuff. Uh, I've never seen it before. It never happened to me, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, it, you know, that's what this is. We are beta testers, alpha testers. We are there to, to bring up things like this that occur so that this game just gets better and better for all of us. And that's what I love. I really do love it. All right. So that being said, I hope you guys get in the comment field. Tell me how you guys feel about it. Um, I didn't get any bad feedback about destroying a lockpick. I'm not, you know, I've only had people say, you know what, that's what I want to see, a nice, clean game. And I think majority, majority of us uh, are into this game and love it. We'll actually want that to stay clean. Now, his progression, his thought process is very very intuitive about you know certain things that he's building about this game many things that i mentioned on here uh which you guys also are in i mean 110 percent into these things uh from animals attacking the hunters and a lot he's aware of it he's looking he's looking into it he's actually been ahead of that for a while now uh the problem is you know doing these kind of things it's how does it integrate properly without it being non-stop so he's got to create some kind of interfaces and stuff I'm not sure how it works. I am not a programmer. I know it's very difficult, that job. And it's not to be a fanboy, but I I will not either stand there and tell you that I'm being, you know, oh, good, you, cool game, everything's perfect. I, I do mention that he's doing a great job, and I, I'm amazed by his work. Uh, but again, I'm also very honest, and as he's honest, you know, with his game too, he's he wants to hear this. The strangest thing, having a developer who doesn't have a chip on his shoulder? That's rare. That is rare. That's someone who really wants to get better. Uh, just like I do on YouTube. I've listened to many of you, uh, you, know, you know, do this, try this and that. Sometimes it's not really for the better of me as much as some people are trying to destroy you. But there's a lot of times the majority of you are out there just trying to help out and stuff like that. And it's always been appreciative. I always appreciate the feedback. And I do listen to it. And I do try to figure out if it fits what I'm doing. And that's what he does too. So it's phenomenal. Anyways, that's it. That's all. Uh, update may not be something that you're all too excited because nothing really happened to it. But he, he's aware of the you know, the grenade not being what it was supposed to be and how it reacted. But how else is he supposed to know until he puts it in? You know, at least he put it in. Uh, you know, Forrest, they put in a one point dynamite guy and he was blowing up our buildings. They removed him within a couple of weeks because he was affecting the game. And again, this is not a that kind of effect to it, but that's what I'm just saying. There's certain things you see in games that will occur that, you know, you might not be agreeing, but look at the overall of the game and say, okay, this is good. This is working out well. Uh, Stranded Deep. Love that game. Pissed off the developers? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Majority of the time. I mean, it takes them forever just to lower a sound. You should be listening to the community. The guys who are, who are buying your game will help you sell your game by word of mouth. Uh, majority of YouTubers, not all of them, but majority of YouTubers, you know, there are some that are just scuzzy, but will um, will promote your game, and they will play the game. Was majority of them will play because they really like it from small to big. If they, even if they have 20 subs, they have value. That's 20 people that watch that video. There's a hundred people watching that video. There's a thousand. There's hundreds of thousands. Whichever one, all have the same value to it, because word of mouth on 20 people, it's a shitload of <laughs> shitload of word of mouth. I know that for a fact, because this community would never grown as big as it did without you guys being a part of it. I always call you guys a community for this channel because of one reason: because this channel is exactly what it is. Uh, if you look at it, the hate is very little. And it's not. I don't. I'm not talking about, you know, on me. I've had some. <laughs> There's some that are blocked automatically, unfortunately, because of bad words and stuff that I just won't accept. Some are being blatantly rude to people I play with. And, you know, to a point where they use profanity and stuff. But I, I usually don't block. I, I usually leave the way it is. And um, But again, if it's just blatantly to a point where it's just pure hate or... It's other people from other channels trying to do that to bolster their own channel. 
that I just won't accept it. So uh, those kind of things are automatically taken off. With bad words and stuff are automatically taken off. And like I mentioned, I keep majority of stuff. You guys seen some of them that are just in there. And there, you know, maybe sometimes people are right. Yeah, you know, things are not perfect. That I have not had a perfect round. And sometimes I screw up. I make mistakes. Uh, those things will happen. Now, difference between my life as a YouTuber, I get another video, and everything's you know gets a little better. Cold Games put out a patch or something, or does something. It stays in your mind because you're gaming for a while until he gets it fixed again. Well, Stranded Deep was the same thing. Stranded Deep held back, and they just disappeared. They don't communicate with their community. You must communicate with the community. Subsistence, whole games, communicates with his community. Maybe not to every single one of them, but he reads them because I, re I, when he talks, he knows what the hell's going on. He's got his ear on the floor. He gets back to you guys on news. He puts a, you know, a, after he's done an update, it's not just, here's an update and blank. Those things piss me off. <laughs> I, I, he takes a, you know, it takes the time to write down what the notes are, the patch notes. And that's not funny, guys. It's a lot of work. Knowing you're doing enough work on your own, that is a lot of work. So hats off to Cole Games. Hats off for, you know, everything he does. And for not having a chip on his shoulder and believing in his game so much that he wants it to get better by listening to the community. Now, is he going to listen to everything I said? Probably not. I mean, it's not everything. I'm right. I'm I'm not every gamer. And I don't believe I am. I play his game for a long period of time. Am I 110% right? I'm willing to try out different ways, different things. Maybe I'll find a new way of playing a game. Maybe I'll enjoy this way of playing. Um, I don't know. I've always kept an open mind testing out games uh, just like I did with Kingdoms over the weekend. Is it a perfect game? No. Did the developers abandon it? Yep, they did. It was gone. Let's be admit. Let's admit to it. The thing disappeared. They disappeared off the face of the planet. And all of a sudden, they pop up with a 17.2. Is there worth a chance for them to do something? Yes. So, do we take the chance and let watch them? Sure. But they have a lot to prove. You know, you know these are kind of things where, you know, for six dollars or ten dollars, and fine, that's cool. But I mean, you get a hell of a deal this game. A hell of a deal. Anyways, that is my 45 cents or my $100 opinion on there. Because, I mean, if, you know, usually you say 25 cents. But, yeah. It's a, it's a crazy road out there. It really is. Again, I'm not a... Uh, I'm not going to sit here and say everything's perfect. No, it isn't. And I don't like the door that's going to be harder for us to shoot through now. And I hope he's going to change that. I really do. And I hope that bear is not chasing me. No. Cool. But yeah, I see a lock crate. We're just, we're not walking past. We're just pretending it's nothing. It's a little mushroom. We're gone over it. Everything's good. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Well, are we busy in this area? All right. We got a grizzly over here. We got some money we could do here if we want to. But I'd like to get the hell out of this area before they start roaming towards me. All right, there seems to be nothing here. Very strange. Yeah, I headed out to a different area. I decided to hop, skip down and around. Last time I did this area was uh, a night run, which is really hard to see what the hell happened afterwards. But this will lead us to the new base. For sure. Sorry, I'm just listening out. There's really nothing down here. Nothing of value there. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sure many of you are going to be disappointed and pissed off. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, that's what we built. I was like, there's a new kinds of hunter. They build the same shit we do. No, Game Edge, that's actually where you spent the night that night. You were going to start, but you didn't put any fucking matches in it. That's right. We didn't put any matches in there. We could take this thing apart, um, but we're, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's a nice resting spot in case of emergency. We have so many matches that we're going to actually split this. In case someone gets cold here. All right, we got the bear over there. I'm taking this nice and gingerly so I don't break my ankle. So anyways, I'm curious to see what you guys are going to put in the comment fields, how you guys feel. Some of you are going to be very pissed off, so, about many other things about the exploits and stuff being fixed. 
and I think majority of you do, who are hardcore gamers, will appreciate it because it's going to keep the game cleaner. You know, that's what you want. And trust me, as a gamer, you're going to enjoy it. Otherwise, I'm bitching. I know. I'm bitching. I've been mentioning this for a while. It's not like it's a big surprise. Gotta be careful up here. I'm not sure if it's up here where I ran back. I think they're above that ridge over there. I'm looking for the hunters. They're all over there. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. I need to see what they're up to. Now, I don't want to start a fight right now because I don't have the proper ammo and stuff. And I'm hoping Cold Games will put a fix out to fix the fix the fix. There they are. All right, there's our third base. We're just gonna we're just gonna investigate a little bit. One, two, three for sure. We have minimum of three hunters that are hanging out there. One, two, three for sure. Oh, we got one uh, one heading this way. Yeah, they're there. All right, well, we'll be careful. We have to head out and make sure we get ourselves back around. Like I mentioned to you, we if you missed the last episode, you should probably go back and check it out. Uh, it's two episodes ago, I think. I think so. Yeah, so we, we did go ahead and take out those hunters down here on the left-hand side. And again, that's where we saw the grenade take out the whole platform on top, which is kind of cool. But I can't wait to see uh, the future of this game and how it keeps on growing. Lots of work left, yes. He knows that too. He's aware of it. He's not crazy. What, seriously? Who wants to be a new trophy this week? Huh? What are you, level what? Level three? Seriously. We're really close to the... Uh, to the hunter's base here. Oh wow, thank god we didn't run there. Look at that. A black bear just appeared out of nowhere. So they're over there. That's a secondary base, really close to each other. That's the other thing I'd like to see is that if we dismantle that base, can we get, you know, if they can just disappear for a while or, you know, go away for a couple of days and reappear somewhere else. Uh, you know, generally around the forest too would be cool. That's one thing I'd like to see. I didn't mention that to him actually, but that is one thing I'd like to see. I did mention that I'd like to see that we can destroy the entire base and, you know, that to move away. Move on. Get the fuck out of Dodge. You know, make us feel a little better that we've got the accomplishment of that. A feeling of, you know, completely wiping them out. I know it sounds horrible, but it's a game, right? It's not a real life. And that's what we're paying for, and that's what we want to see. That's for sure. Oh, I got crates are just hanging off the sides now. That was just like teasing. You're teasing me, brother. Now, I do find the loot's a lot easier to get, a lot nicer. Um, overall, I think... Oh, shit, where is he? Where are you, you son of a bitch? Where is he? Are you over there? Seriously? It always seems to be a bear on this area. Almost the same spot every time, too. Yeah, he's really close to that crate. He's well, he's walking away. It's good. There's another one to the left, I think. He's walking away now. He's gone to roll mode. He's gone. He's moving on. But that means other animals be moving themselves in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy, brother. That's pretty far away. Pretty far away. It's good. And I did see some copper here somewhere before I got distracted. I saw some regular ones there. And it's getting dark. We got to get our asses in gear and get back home. I'm 
Okay, that's just way too much risk. Risk versus a couple of nails. I'm gonna take gain to back home. I'm gonna head back home. Where are you? I just have a feeling there's something around here. Some copper right there. Damn it. Really don't need meat. We did find some shotgun. All right. It's level two, I know. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Seriously? Balls in the face and made me friggin' bleed. That was not worth it. That. Just teach me to be cocky a little bit. Should have been a good Oh, come on, call games. No more nads, man. I hope it's a female dog at least. Don't have to get stuck with nuts. Alright, there we go. Copper. I love me copper, man. So much needed. Yeah, chicky, chicky. I kind of need another chicken right now. I like to get them in different stages so that way we can rotate them out. I'm hoping this chicken is going to be very nice. I didn't see very many. I saw some fiber over there, I know. Oh, he's also leading us to a crate. You see, I told you. Always leads us to something bad and good. Hey, you son of a bitch. Don't go near there. Just keep on running. Don't go near him. Oh, you son of a bitch. I said don't go there. Level... Th oh, shit. Where is he? Alright, I don't want to waste some more ammo. Is he coming after us? Yeah, yeah, he's on us. You fucking chicken, I swear to God. I'll shoot you in the freaking head. Well, that wolf's pretty damn smart, man. He went around the other way to Rocky. He goes, oh, yeah, you want to take me around there? Done that before, brother. Been there. Done that. Okay, let's see if I can slice through this, too. Without aggravating too much shit. Oh, no, the aggravation part. Oh, no, he's on us. I can hear his little... It'd be cool if there's a shadow behind us. It would scare the shit out of us, wouldn't it? I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. No one's going to let me get a crate today. No one's going to let us get a crate today. Man, they're on those crates. Like, heavily. Oh, shut up. Shut your pile. Level one. Oh, jeez. Okay. If I fart loud enough, that thing dies. That kind of crate was that? I think there's water in there. It's getting dark. It's just getting too dark. It's not worth the uh, the vice versa from here now. That's our lookout base. Now, the base is probably powered at 500 and uh, 100, so that's going to be at least good. We already have the power in there. Now, what I don't know if, if when you actually get it, does it actually restart the power? But your expansion throughout the base will just continue, which is nice, too. You can expand the base. Still, with the BCU, you can bring out the power a little further, which is very much needed. We go out this way, so that way, if he comes at us, he's not going to attack our base. And they're really aggravated, these damn things. Oh, shit. They're very much aggravated. All right, let's go and check out to see how our chickens are doing. Yeah, they're going to need some food. Some food. Um, yeah, that should be pretty good. And we'll split one here. 
Perfect. And we got another egg. Most excellent. We have ch uh, level two, level eight. You're about to be supper. And Fang, how you doing, brother? We also have to start planting. That'd be good. Oh, boy, that just got dark. That got super dark. All right, let's open this up here. Let's click this open. All right, so I'm going to be doing some more generator work here, trying to get this rolling as fast as possible. We, I'm thinking about building maybe a second generator. We are kind of doing well with actual biofuel. We're doing extremely well. Again, and with just the animal fat and other things, it's been working very, very well for us. So I've been dumping this in here, letting it roll, and we get whatever we need for, you know, biofuel not. We also use these things. I get four of them since I have so many of them, and I actually make else in the health kits. I make some biofuel. So as you get through it, one plus one plus one, it really does, you know, it adds up. It's really nice. So again, thank you so much for being here. You guys are absolutely awesome. If you guys like this, don't forget the like button. And we will be working on some more upgrades and stuff. Hopefully the weapons would be really cool. But at first, we have to get that power up. The almighty power. It's be really cool. So thank you for being here. You guys are absolutely awesome again. This is you guys from Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.